Hi, I'm Joe with Origami Bicycles, and today I will show you how to put this crane 8 into this luggage case. The tools you'll need will be a 5mm hex wrench, a 4mm hex wrench, a 15mm wrench, a screwdriver, and a 10mm wrench. Step one is to disengage the brake levers. You do this by pulling the two levers together and pulling the brake cable out of the seat. Step two is to remove both front and rear wheels. I usually do the front wheel first by disengaging the quick release lever and loosening the quick release. Then I just pull the wheel out of the fork drop house. And then make sure you're shifted down to the highest gear or the lowest sprocket and this will make it a lot easier to get the wheel out. Disengage the quick release, loosen the skewer, and the wheel comes right out. The next step is to start taking the fenders off. You may have to hold it here where the reflector attaches and then you simply pull, pull the nut in the back off like this and push the bolt through. Next you can take out each of the bolts out of the dropout that hold the fender on. You can do this by using your Phillips head screwdriver or your 10 millimeter wrench. You simply Turn left to loosen it. And it comes right out. Do the same for the other side. Next, you want to loosen each side of the fender arm bolts with your 4 millimeter by turning it to the left. And then it comes right out. And you do the same for the other side. And the last bolt is on the seat stay bridge. And you can use your Phillips head screwdriver or your 10 millimeter and loosen that right up and hold it from the other side or thread it from the other side and push the bolt through. Alright, so now we're going to take the rear rack off. Pretty simple, similar to the fender. We just want to loosen these two bolts, one here on the seat stay. That comes right out with your 4 millimeter, And another one here at the dropout. All right, and then do the same thing for the other side of the rack. Also, I wanted to mention that um, once you start taking all these bolts out, you want to keep track of them. Um, you can do that by keeping them in the frame, or, or I guess putting them back into the frame, or just put them in like a little Ziploc bag or something like that. Um, so, uh, I forgot some of the easy parts, which is to take out the seat and the handlebars. So you probably already know. Just take the seat out like this. And then same thing with the handlebars, just take the quick release 
open and then the handlebars down. And then of course you can fold the stem over like this. So one of the simplest steps is to remove the pedals and that's what your 15 millimeter is for. And um, the right hand pedal is a left hand turn to loosen, so counterclockwise. And you can, once you loosen it up, you can just pull it out with your fingers usually. Turn it all left. All right, so you're almost done. Um, now we just need to remove the derailleur um, by the derailleur hanger. Now I'll do it by the derailleur hanger because it's much easier to install um, and uh, you don't affect the adjustment of your derailleur at all. All you have to do is there's an anchor bolt here on the frame and the dropout that holds the derailleur hanger on. And you take several turns, it comes right off. So this is the derailleur hanger bolt that goes into the front of the derailleur hanger. And this is the nut that goes on the other side. Now very easy to mix up, so don't do it. And um, threads in just like this, holding the derailleur hanger on. Now for the familiar part of just folding your crane eight frame in half, flip up the tab, and undo the hitch. And it folds you right in half. Alright, so your crane eight is all folded up. I've put a plastic bag on the inside of the luggage, just you know to protect the luggage. And um, I've laid it with the drive side towards the bottom so that it leaves your chain ring in the corner here. And then I just like to put the handlebars in behind the frame here. Make sure my plastic bag protection is in place and then I'll take the seat and the seat post and thread it kind of through the dropouts and everything there actually behind the fork not in front of so in between there and of course you'll want to put some padding in here so that all oh, the metal doesn't bang together um, and I put kind of the the reel in the middle there, it's out of the way. And then just put the rack kind of right in here around everything. Just the, around this chain ring here to kind of protect the outside of the luggage case from the chain ring because the chain ring teeth can be sharp and they will bite. Alright, so the last step is to put the wheels and fender in. Now, the fenders go together pretty nicely like that. You just kind of slide them up together, the longer one here. And then, you want to take the skewer out of the rear wheel. Just unthread the nut. Make sure you don't lose these little springs. Very important. Um, just pull it out the side there and put it back like this, the big side of the spring facing the outside towards the nut. And then you want to kind of just put the fenders on along the tire like this. And I like to put it in the compartment here, just so it does, you don't even have to really just, I mean, deflate the tires unless you want a really good fit. Just goes in like that. And then lay the other one across. 
like that. You don't want to have to take the skewer out if you don't want to, but you certainly can. And just clip them in there like that. And then you can even step it up most of the way. If you deflate the tires, you can probably get this all the way zipped up, depending on if you have a pump, which it may be a good idea. And now we're just gonna close it up. All right, now the best part is you want to close it up and go where you need to go. Maybe you're going on a tour or you're just taking it into the city. So be sure that your handlebars are in here, mine or not. Make sure they're all the way into here because if they aren't, it's not going to close. But now it is. And then just fold it over and zip it up. And you're ready to go.